this week. <laughs> for he's fucking up. What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? And second shift, little big hot beer. Stick around, fuckheads. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. Mom always said we should do a fucking Forrest Gump episode. I, I like him. He's always falling into good luck. No matter how fucked up shit gets. And we got a good beer. From St. Louis. Second shift. Little Big Hop. Okay, I know we've gone over this. In our Jenny vs. Grandpa Joe podcast. For the cinema's biggest asshole. But before we pick the three scenes... I want to reiterate how much of a selfish bitch Jenny is. Yeah, she's a wicked piece of shit. You ain't lying. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Fucking tease. Use this slow motherfucker whenever she needs him. Then lets the rest of the hippie drug culture dump come into her. Like she's collecting for a sperm shortage. If that never happened, all right. Ha <laughs> ha. Come, squirrel. Well, it's suggested she got a batch with the AIDS in it. I don't think it's called the AIDS anymore. I think it's HIV. I think it makes a fucking difference. Run, Forrest, run! They never say it, but her vagina was so used up, it infected everything else to that point, and she dies. You died on a Saturday morning. It was a little sad, but I took a second, and I was over it. Unlikable bitch. Yeah, well, Forrest is dumbass. Like the... Enough to blow the love you'll get into her. The bitch comes back after he gets his shrimp company going. And he says, by the way, this is your kid. You're his daddy, Forrest. How'd she know? I don't know. I think that kid becomes Freddy Krueger. Son of a thousand maniacs and Forrest Gump. All right, how about our three scenes? First, let's review. Gump falls into more happy accidents than I do horrible women. That's not hard. Suck it. This guy in a roundabout way had a hand in helping Elvis, Watergate, and a famous saying that is one of our scenes. This dude has more luck than anybody fucking possible. He was born a bit stupid, so it balances out. You're a goddamn genius! That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard! What God left on the table for brains, he more than made up for with a blessed life. Of course, except letting the devil in herself. Forrest, look at me. You're talking about Jenny? Yeah, that cum dumpster. Fuck her. Alright, scene number one is when Forrest comes home from Vietnam. And he's waiting to talk. Get fucking there! Holy shit, if we had cheering fans every time we said fuck, we'd be making millions on this YouTube. It's just YouTube, Tom. Why do you have to point that shit out all the time? And make me look dumber than shit. I make you look dumber than shit? Yeah. Okay, Gump. Anyway, they unplugged the mic. <laughs> and wouldn't you fucking know it? Jenny! That cunt rag Jenny. <laughs> Comes running, cause Forrest is like fucking famous at the moment. Bitch. Right, she always pops up at the opportune time. The next thing I want to talk about is him running. Run, Forrest, run! The answer! I'll follow you anywhere, Mr. Gump. That's a lot of running. I mean, you could take a car. I know. I damn near have a heart attack if I get the beer shits and have to race across the bar. You're gross, Tom. Like you've never had to be a shit. Of course. But I squeeze my butt cheeks, or buttocks, huh? And I gracefully, as, as a man of my drunken stature, get to the toilet and release the monster into captivity. Yeah, I'm gross. So speaking of shit, one of my favorite gumbisms, or quotes, in this. Wow, old man, you just ran through a big pile of dog shit! It happens. Huh. <laughs> Some years later, I heard of that fella did come up with a butt for stick slogan and he made a lot of money off of it. Another happy accident from this motherfucker. Shit happens. Hilarious. So, he had some close friends in the film. Bubba. Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. And Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. I got you some ice cream. So, we're going four scenes. Bubba is simple. Because he's all about the shrimp. Pineapple shrimp. Lemon shrimp. Coconut shrimp. So Forrest kind of steals Bubba's idea, or his dream anyway. Yeah, you could say that. But I think they would have done it together anyway. Probably Bubba in charge, though. My favorite character by far is Lieutenant Dan. Hey, 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 are you I'm walking here! Ah, get out! 
I wonder why. His charming personality reminds me a lot of myself. I love when he's screaming like a crazy legless pirate in a sea storm. It's time for a showdown! You and me! I'm right here! Tell me you me! Watch him get irritated with Forrest. Yeah, but don't you be thinking that I'm going to be calling you sir. But the best is buying his good buddy, Gump, a couple of hookers. What are you stupid as something? Goddamn clothes! Get the hell out of here! You're being a sideshow! Come on! Get out of here! Would you do that for me, Tom? I probably would, but after dropping my love yoga in their presence first. Stand up guy, Tom. Stand up guy. I think with my dick. I'm sure there's some victimization to it. I can claim. Oh, uh, yeah, it's called a selfish prick. <laughs> That's funny right there. I try. So what do we have for a rating? First, I want to talk about this beer. Okay. This was the beer I drank when I got arrested for throwing my own shit at those monkeys when I was on that date at the zoo. Oh, that has to be one of your most fucked up stories. May only be second to the chick with a dick. I'm like the opposite of Forrest Gump. My stories always end up with gross moments in hell. Anyway... It's a light New England style IPA that is so smooth, the lower alcohol, I pounded like 30 of them, then ended up in a shit fight with monkeys that night. So for that, I'm going five mugs. Great beer, good times. Wow. Okay, it's as simple as great taste for my ass. A nice summer beer, but alcohol's a little low. So I'll say four. Okay, Forrest Gump, for all its faults, and that tampon Jenny, being its biggest fault. You really hate her. I'm mad how she treats Gump. Anyway, the movie's fantastic other than that bitch face. So I'm giving it a 4.5. Losing points only because of that dirty gutter snipe. Okay, I don't like her either. But I'm gonna have to say a perfect 5 for me. I just like the film a lot. Great storytelling. But what do you want to tackle next week? More beer? That goes without saying. But I mean movies. How about... You're not going to cut me off, are you? Nope. First Best time to reach my high. Wow. Fucking lucky star for you there, jackass. If not for that, you probably would have screwed me again. Yeah, probably. Instead, I'll fuck myself rewatching the Phoebe Cates pool scene over and over. I'm assuming you're just going to have one scene in this for next week. If I had my way, I'd talk for an hour about that scene. She was my doorway to masturbatory adulthood. Okay. We'll see you with that. And another great beer next week, folks. I'm going to stop by the bakery and pick up a pie. Thanks. I think I vomited a little in my mouth. Nah, just warm belly beer. Making a return trip. Later, fuck sticks. <laughs>